We need a paradigm change. We need to change from a mindset of disaster recovery and rebuilding to a resilience approach, an approach that takes a more holistic view and better protects the poorest and the most vulnerable among us. My vision is really a more resilient society and one where greater opportunity is shared by more people. She's demonstrating a focus on the weaker links to try and build strength there so the gaps between people are less, so that we are more prepared to work together when we need to work together, and to find means to empower and engage those communities in helping themselves go forward. It's always mattered to me that people feel empowered to participate in decision making, in thinking, in outcomes that really affect them. And this work enables that vision to be actualized. So it's important to put Judy's pioneering leadership into context. Whether it was at Yale, beginning as a lecturer, becoming very popular, moving up in the ranks, uh, ultimately becoming provost, showing that just because you're in academia doesn't mean that you have to be inside. When she was at Penn, she was at the forefront of a, a movement around revitalizing cities and the role of anchor institutions. She took on the first project of bringing in a bookstore and a hotel to the campus. I'm a native Philadelphian. I grew up literally in that neighborhood. I'm a product of the Philadelphia Public Schools and so I was just incredibly dismayed when I came back to Philadelphia and to that neighborhood and saw how deteriorated it had become. The idea of revitalizing an inner city around an American college or university was not a new idea. But what was new was that Judy both talked about the idea of urban revitalization and actually did something about it. She understood that would be good for the city and that what was good for Penn was good for the city and what was good for the city should be good for Penn. And this was a rare case of someone who knew the place. Where we thought we could be different is that we really understood that we couldn't do this to the neighborhood or even for the neighborhood, that we had to do it with the neighborhood. This intersection here became our largest uh, intervention to connect to the community around us and say that we are open. It's not sufficient to have the best design. It's not sufficient to have the greatest architecture without really engaging those communities where a massive intervention like this was going to occur. At the Rockefeller Foundation, Judy brought that same sense of pioneering leadership and of an unwillingness to take no for an answer. From the moment that Dr. Roden arrived at the foundation, she began putting more and more urban issues on the table. Today she's put her focus through the foundation on resiliency intensely aware of how underserved populations, the income gap, climate change, environmental change, are all making our cities vulnerable. The resilience dividend really takes into consideration the multiple uh, outcomes that can be associated with a smart investment on the front end. The World Bank data show that for every three dollars spent, a dollar is gone in the next disaster. And so we want those three dollars to now be spent through a resilience building lens. Thank you again for joining us. The Nichols Prize exemplifies people who've made a commitment to their community and to their world and done something that makes a difference. And Dr. Roden has done that extremely well. She really is a leader. In the, in the community building, and it sort of epitomizes what the Nicholas Prize is all about. I'm just one of a very lucky, large group of people who um, owe much of my success to Dear Judy. 
She has shown a consistent and career-long commitment to challenging problems, to breaking barriers. Judy is a person of enormous passion. I admire her intelligence, her commitment to see things through, her belief in her staff and empowering the people who work with her to do the best job they can. She makes a, a worthy addition to a group of uh, um, illustrious past recipients.